All right, so we're gonna do a little experiment right here and we're gonna see how good is the SolarFlex 400i solar system. And we're gonna see how many days I can get out of this thing. I, I just disconnected the trailer from the shore power and we're gonna see how the 400 watt solar system with the inverter running just the refrigerator. I'm just curious, besides the refrigerator, I'm not sure if it's just running like fire or smoke underneath it, but we're gonna, but we're gonna see how this thing can do with the 200 amp hour batteries and the SolarFlex 400i. So let's do this. For this experiment, I'm gonna now disconnect from shore power. You can see what time it is, 8.23 on the 30th. And we're gonna see how the solar setup does. Okay, so it's been about 12 hours now and I've lost about 13% of battery. I've only been running the inside refrigerator and freezer and just any of the other, I think it's like smoke alarm, fire alarm, or any other little LEDs running in the background. What's gonna be interesting is it's supposed to be a decently sunny day, but if you look, I don't have great cover, I don't have great sunlight, so we'll be curious to see how much the solar picks up in this area, but we'll at least see where we're at towards the end of the day at the 24 hour mark. All right, so it's now been about 24 hours. We actually pulled the slide out. Solar's still disconnected. Let's see, looking for my watch. It's been exactly 24 hours now. Let's see where the battery percentage is at now at about 24 hours. Sun is almost down. I'm producing barely any energy right now, but here's what's cool. I'm in the shade. I mean, you can see I'm in the middle of trees and I gained 13% of solar today. All we used was just refrigerator, but we did just pull out the slide and we got some lights on inside. This is 24 hours and we're sitting at 96% of our battery capacity with the 200 amp hour batteries. Very cool. Just for proof, refrigerator sitting at about, actually a little bit under 32 degrees. So there we go. All right, we're almost 48 hours in now in our solar test. And today we had a few lights on in the trailer. Refrigerator's been running the whole time. You can still see it's disconnected. You can kind of see we're almost 48 hours in. Let's see where we're at with our battery now. So just incredible. You can see I barely got any sun on the solar panels right now. And I am two days in at 100% of charge again. We'll check again tomorrow. All right, third day in, no shoreline connected. Kind of see, kind of see third day in, no solar. Let's see where we're at with our power. See, we're down a little bit, 3% today. We had some rain, as you can tell, looking at the trailer. So I'm gonna pull the slide out today and play a little Xbox on the TV. And I'm curious to see how much we lose for power. This is three days in now. Got the slide out now. Got the slide out. Let's check the refrigerator. Tim's good in the fridge. Tim's good in the freezer. So three days in. Off grid, pretty good. Let's see if we can do a little PlayStation 3 tonight, four on this. All right, so check this out. We are now on day number seven or eight. I need to confirm, but this thing has been disconnected the entire time. Let's see where the solar's at. How's so how stinking cool is that? I've been disconnected for almost eight days now and I'm at 99% charged. Got the refrigerator running, had a few lights on inside, pulled the slide out like three or four times, but that's incredible. And I have basically no sunlight through here. I mean, there's, you can see a lot of shade. So this solar system with the 2000, with the 200 amp hour battery works really well. All right, guys, we are a, I think either 10 days or 11 days into fully disconnected 
and I am in the rain right now. It is raining. Let's see where we're at with voltage. Let's, let's see where we're at. Solar only, running the refrigerators. So even when it's overcast, raining all over right now, I'm still producing two watts of solar and I'm at 92% charge after whatever, 10 or 11 days. I'm impressed. This 400i system is incredible. All right, we are 12 days in now, disconnected from shore power. Had the slide open half a dozen times, TV on, refrigerator's been on the entire time, only running off the 200 amp hour battery, the Dragonfly system with the 2000 watt inverter generator. Let's see where this is at for the grand finale, and I will just reconnect to shoreline now. I'll now check the, I'll now connect to the app and see where we're at power wise and how much sun. And let's see how much solar we're generating today. Even though we've been in cloud cover the entire time, it's still working really good. I'm gonna pull this slide out real quick. And I'm gonna show you that the refrigerator, I'll just pull it out just a little bit so I can squeeze in. Show you the refrigerator has been on the entire time. This is a Furion 12 volt, sitting right about 39, 40 degrees Fahrenheit on the bottom. And it's actually a little bit cool, warmer up top than what I'd like to see. But anyhow, it's still very cold, working great. Had to slide out half a dozen times, fan in the back on, lighting on. All right, so here's my takeaway. 12 days disconnected from shore power. 440 watts of solar with 200 amp hour lithium batteries. My last Grand Design fifth wheel had similar power solar panels of 400 watts, but it only had one 12 volt lead acid battery. I think like a 24, 27 series battery. I couldn't get 24 hours, approximately 24 hours of running the 12 volt refrigerator in that trailer. I'm at 12 days. The trailer was parked in the exact same spot as this similar wattage of solar panels. I'm only producing like 40 watts a day or so of the 400 watts available because there is a ton of shade in this area where it's at. But the capacity of these batteries with that inverter technology, this is a game changer. I now would only want a system like this on a trailer moving forward because this now gives us the ability to boondock or go off grid and I don't need a generator. So this is super cool. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy this video. This is the Solar Flex 400i with the 200 amp hour lithium batteries, 440 watts of solar on the roof with a 2000 watt inverter generator, 12 days in, batteries at 100% charge with days of rain and sun and shade the entire time. Very impressed, highly recommend. Thanks for watching.